Yo, this Raptor squad. Oof. Dangerous. So is the 76ers squad. Both of these teams went to the playoffs last season. So let's see what they do. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for... Oh, gotta eat. Tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Ooh. Kevin Harlan here along with analyst Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. It's the Toronto Raptors and the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. We've got Kawhi Leonard. Carter is out there with Tracy McGrady. And it's Bargnani. And it's Logan in at the four spot. And Leonard gets it to go. Look at the handles by Kawhi Leonard. He has worked on that part of his game. He has his defender on skates. Cunningham outside. Maxi with the screen on Leonard. Oh, this is coming. Ooh! Well, I didn't expect it to be a yam like that. To stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up. I didn't expect it to be an absolute yam. A screen on Cunningham. Oh, look, Kawhi. Here's Leonard. Eager to get it right back. Leonard's got five now. This is what Kawhi provides. 100% of effort. Loves to take it right Same to bet. Big bet. Back to Maxi. Oh, I like the vision. It wasn't quite there, but I like the vision. Just thought of it being there. Toronto with the ball. It's a three-point game. A little over a minute thirty into this first quarter. Pass to McGrady. And again, Toronto with the triple. Great vision on that pass. Kawhi moving it mm. to the open teammate. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Good evening, Kevin. Well, I did speak with Toronto's head. Yikes. He told me defensively they have to stop dribble penetration. Challenge Both of these teams, the man. And generally make it difficult to Playoff get to teams. the rim. Playoff teams. Last the season. season. Dunk fest in the East. Will not end in their favor. Uh, Raptors right, losing Banks, to Cannon, the Bulls, to and then I think the uh, 76ers taking Over the Wizards to a close seven-game series just, just couldn't like did, secure the dub. Never go with the fadeaway jumper. He has to attack the rim next time. Carter inside the three-point line. That one doesn't go. Now the 76ers take it the other way. After four straight makes, couldn't quite get that one to go down. Still a terrific start. Here's the screen. Oh, look at that. If he makes that, I was about to say, that was, he was fading, fading. Starting for Toronto, they won that game against Indiana. Marnani a screen on Cunningham. Malone with the steal. The 76ers trail by five. Hmm. Maxi looking it over. Embiid mm. inside, defended by Carter. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Maxi. Hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. McGrady gets to bucket. That. That's a bucket. Trains it from beyond the arc. Now that's a high percentage look when the I knew that was a bucket. fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotation, but it's worth it. Now here's Malone. Comes up empty down wow. Oh, I thought he. I and honestly he thought he came down with that often. rebound over like three people. The <laughs> He's likely to remember that one. Here's McGrady. Oh, good on the triple. He's, he seems to play this long. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by six. Pass to Kim. Popped up there for Embiid. No, I'm about to say. Six. They all saw that coming. Everybody saw that coming defensively. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. One thing I like about this Raptors team, though, is that... Passes to Maxi. They're so crazy athletic. They're so crazy, like, long. I mean, Tracy McGrady's 6-9 point guard. For the three. You know, you got kick out to Cunningham. Vince Carter, who you forget, can shoot threes decently because he's such a good interior threat. Slashing back or everything. You have Kawhi Leonard, one of the better defensive players in the league. 
Jones got six points. On top of that, he's got a solid score from beyond New York as well. He can get it at the block like that. That's um, okay. And then you got Barnani who can stretch the floor. You got Kirk Logan. Look at him. Big, beefy boy. And off the bench, you got people like uh, Scotty Barnes. No good. Tris Bosch, all that in their prime. So, I mean, yeah, it's Here's McGrady. a long and athletic team. And you, you see plenty of stuff like that. Vertical there, showing once again with how well he ducks the basketball. Out to the wing. The shot from 20 feet away. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Logan, the pass to McGrady. He's oh, I thought he was yeah, going clean respect. out on that. McGrady has easily seen over the defense there. It looked like he was about man. to fall. The stop from going out of bounds on that. Oh, right back at him. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Toronto with the ball. Three point lead. Mud Crady with the ball. E. Eight points e. for him. E. Yikes. <laughs> I was wondering, like, when Cannon was going to reach in on him, you know? <laughs> he had it just kind of lingering out there. Here's Logan. Oh. Well, he got big Buford. Off him, and he big old beefy in. boy shooting threes. With this league is off the chain. Oh, look at Cunningham, though. He's at no three. Oh, what a, a stellar defender. Leonard's what a block. Will the still, though, able to get that rebound surprisingly and put it back, but Leonard. she cannot. Right. Just regard right. that defensive effort. The 76ers <laughs> trail there, by four. Man. Now look at man, you got Dr. J coming in, you got Shays, you got uh, a lot of good talent coming and off. Or getting ready coming off the bench for Oh, uh, make the extra pass to Cannon, no bro. Come on, he's wide open for three. Arnani inside the three-point line. Mm. And some very quick points for him on that mm. possession. And really setting the tone Shell early shot. with their three-point shooting. Cannon pass to Embiid. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor, but inside is where he can really utilize that size. Oh, and hanging around. No Leonard's an elite two-way machine, but there he shows us the Yikes. audience. Yikes! <laughs> They're gonna get every angle on that. On that <laughs> Philadelphia with the ball. Six point game. There's a screen. Bargnani grabs the ball. Bargnani's got four rebounds in this game. Carter kicks to Stoudemire. We, we. Pass to Bargnani. Runner on the Oi. wing. Six on the shot clock. <laughs> Here's Logan. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Here we go. E. Crisscross. Uh, full mouse in the house. And how you do that, Joel? How you do that to yourself? Johnny dishes to Stoudemire. All you had to do was just do a nice little post fade right over top of him. He's not doing nothing. Why you gotta take it up in him? And it's a nine point Toronto lead. Love the focus Leonard has at the heart. He won't take shots. They even called a timeout on it. They were like, wait, what did he just say? The decide to take their first timeout here. Defense yeah. Toronto. Ooh. 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 Outside Irving. Hey, uh, Julius Irving. Getting up there in age, but 
Hey, you can still ball. And step him out there and get a buggy. Every time the ball comes inside. Will. Yeah. Older in their careers. You know, they, they still here, man. They still up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Oh. Left side oh. Bosch. Shaking him. Oh. Off the glass. And the Raptors he went to work on Shays, man. Offense already in a flow. He went to work on shooting to jump out to this league. Oh, oh, Dr. Dre. Oh, oh, Chris. Oh. No way. Left to play in the first I was going to say. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Alice yeah. position, you can yeah, that's see what the I was frustration he definitely on his face. Oh, look at that. With the three. Right. Ma. And again, mm. Toronto with the triple. Building up a big early lead. They, they have a huge lead right now, 12 points. Game. Play calling has been fantastic. The 76ers playoff team the last year. The opening tip. This year, you know, Allen Iverson and... Irving coming out of the starting lineup. You know you're getting a little long in the tooth as a team. No Fan base. Now Toronto takes it the other you way. Lose this one at home. Here's Stoudemire. Even though and it's just the second game of the season the for you, it's and that is the exact type of those games you want to win. This offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy Jeez. in the right spot, more often than not, Jeez. you're coming away Good. with points. Get it going now. Look at this, Derek There's Whitehead. Oh, <laughs> oh Bosh. Couldn't get it to go. I, I think that was just a bad lob, to be honest. But now, oh, oh for three. Okay. Becoming more of a shooter in his old age. Hey, when you wide open like that. Six seconds separate in the shot and game clock. Too good to be true. You got to take it. Oh, there's Whitehead. With a closing out. Cisco. The 76ers trail by nine. Out on the trail. This should be the last possession right here of the quarter. They got a chance to uh, take this to attention, I was going to say. He's a six point game. But that was not very good. Down nine. Uh, on the road, the 76ers got a big team that, uh, that are built to play you know, later into the game. Uh, but they are getting a little old. Maybe they run out of energy and they don't complete the comeback. I'm thinking Raptors. Oh, right there. oh my gosh, they do. By 37 points. Um, that's wild, really. Uh, um, look at the difference in free throws. It's literally double. It's literally double. But then look at the, look at the, what the percentages. I feel like the team it seems to be the, the teams that when you look at the assists, right? The teams that have that more assists, teams that pass the ball better, tend to get better looks. And then they stress the defense and then they get to the free throw line more. And then it just really piles on. Right? Um you know, and really the only way to combat that is to generate extra possessions with turnovers and securing rebounds. And the 76ers didn't do it. So, you know, it's it's it, when you when you don't do it, you end up losing by 30 plus points at home and, and embarrassing yourself. And really, I mean, they were up 11 and a half up another seven, uh, you know, so 18. I mean, yeah, the absolute blowout territory in that fourth quarter really poured it on. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you have not a single person scored more than 20 points. Also, BJ Cannon. Going double digits in turnovers. That's like, I mean, that's bad, bad. That's, <laughs> that is horribly bad. He got Wilt Chamberlain getting 16 rebounds off the bench. And freaking BJ Cannon's getting 10 turnovers. Oh, that is horrible. Meanwhile, though, Tracy McGrady. <laughs> <laughs> the BJ Cannon's opposite here, right? Tracy McGrady, 30 points, 14 assists on one turnover, had a seal and a block as well. And then Kawhi with 29 points, three steals, you know, Bargnani with a double double. Uh Stoudemire with nine assists off the bench. Uh, Vince Carter with eight assists. You know, they were balling out, man. These top three, four, five guys were were having a game. 